Well, the synagogue of Satan definitely appears to be in a state of desperation. But what are these satanic families so desperate about that they would go on, go as far as fomenting, generating and orchestrating civil war in the United States? I hope you hear what I'm saying. Don't take what you see on face value. We better look beneath what's happening. Well, what do we mean fomenting and orchestrating civil war? Well, people respond to information. They set their expectations on what they believe is the truth. And unfortunately, most people are accustomed to getting the truth from the very demons that control every aspect of the corrupt systems of this government. So if this information is a bold faced lie, then anything that is occurring contrary to the expectation set by a bold faced lie brings about a negative response. It's like you being told that somebody has stole from your mother, from a, somebody who's a liar. And before you investigate it, you want to put some bullets in that person. It was not quite that way, but you get the point. Now, in the case of the presidential election, this response could be a private emotional one where the persons lament in private their disgust or disappointment, go into their bedrooms and cry. But the response could also be public hostility where these persons feel that it is their duty to attack the perceived or their perceived enemies. So this is serious because no person wants to see a loved one murdered over the mischief being made about the presidential election only to find out that it was indeed mischief being orchestrated by the, the satanic news media. Nobody wants to experience that. Why? Because the mischief will be found out. But your loved one ain't coming back out of the grave. They're gone forever. Then we live with intense regret once we learn that we reacted to some damn satanic families and put our lives out there. So the responsibility of each citizen is to know the actual process by which a president is elected. And apparently we don't know that it's been taken out of the schools or you we, you're just not learning it. We need to know the full process and not accept the mass news media's diabolical persuasion. So on this note, I do and must acknowledge the value of President Donald Trump's tweet in response to the mass news media's irresponsible and diabolical declaration that Joseph Biden is the newly elected president of the United States. And if you notice, they always say, according to Fox News projection, according to the Associated Press's projection, Sliding that little term in there because they know most people are not going to look at the fine writing. Irresponsible and demonic. But President Trump came out with a tweet and he stated this. The simple fact is this election is far from over. Joe Biden has not been certified as the winner of any state's let alone of the highly contested states headed for mandatory recounts or states where our campaign has valid and legitimate legal challenges that could determine the ultimate victor. In Pennsylvania, for example, our legal observers were not permitted meaningful access to watch the counting process. Legal votes decide who is president, not the mass news media. So everybody's running around saying Joseph Biden won even though they knew lawsuits were being passed the day of or being enacted 
or formed the day of the election. Irresponsible mass news media talking heads working for the diabolical synagogue of Satan. So President Trump's tweet, in my opinion, quelled the violence that the synagogue of Satan thought would ensue after its announcement regarding Joseph Biden's alleged victory. This tweet caused the more emotional supporters of President Trump to stand down and not attack those who were celebrating Joseph Biden's alleged victory given to him by the mass news media. Now, because of that tweet, people were sent to investigate the process of which the presidential election decides a winner on which. And that process is still underway despite the schemes of the synagogue of Satan's mass news media. That's what I mean. If we don't, if you don't stand up for what the process is and know about it, then how long are we going to be fools and clowns for a wise serpent? <laughs>